Okay, let's get it. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today we're going to take a look at product from Bandai. This is from the Netflix series Stranger Things, the Void series. Hopper. So Bandai Bandits. I'm doing something a little new. Checking out this guy, man. I, I Man, this guy's warming pegs crazy. And I saw it on sale for I want to say like 14, 15 bucks, something like that. And I was having a dry run. And I said, hell, let me go ahead and pick it up. So we get a nice neat look, neat looking box. It Netflix up here, Stranger Things, Hopper. 15 plus. So you gotta be 15 years of age older. Bandai 2021. And you just get a product image of Hopper on the side. Not much. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the packaging. Um. So, I'm interested in knowing, did anybody pick this figure up? Does anybody even care about this? I mean, I've seen these things, man. These things are in abundance. No matter where you go, I'm dropping my eyes. Little backdrop Superman stand up there Superman come on come on Superman anyway this thing is wet warming pegs man every I don't care where you go this thing is this one in the in the other um the female actress oh, damn let's try this from the bottom this thing is warm and pegs, man. They have like a deluxe version. That's a Walmart exclusive, I think. That comes with the DVD or some shit like that. And man, yo, this box, I'm trying not to rage. But like, I tear the damn box up. But like, and see, that's why I do unboxings live, man. You know what I'm saying? Because shit like this. Stupid ass box, yo. God damn. Shit. Ha! Huh. Anyway. Comes in a clamshell. No accessories. Nice little backdrop. Check that out. I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that in the background. And get to figure out see see how good it is or not how good whatever how trash it is and there he is out of packaging man he feels pretty good I will admit to that looks oh man look at this this butterfly joint is look at this it's just flopping around. That's terrible. He feels good, but he feels loose as well in certain areas. But he stands right out of packaging. And Superman ain't feeling uh, this figure. <laughs> Neither am I right now, but we're going to take it out. Just in case you guys been walking past it and having a dry run like me and, and just go, hey, hell. 15, 20, 15 bucks. Let's get it. Bring the man close. Let's take a look at him. Get some more light on him. Now, I will say the sculpt is done very, very well. Check it out. Nice stubble for the mustache. Beard. Look at the head. Look at that shadow. Where he has like a bald head and his hair is growing back. Face print technology has done pretty good on this. All you get is his name here in. I'm not sure what language that is. Is it German or. German something. I don't know. There's no other paint on this guy. I mean other than the shoes. Which the shoes are done pretty good. Netflix. 
stamping on the bottom. Nice rubber feel too. Be China and uh, some other information. But it's just done in a blue plastic. Coat is done pretty good. It's soft plastic. The, the, this here is a problem though. How these just flop around is terrible. No wonder this thing is just sitting on the damn shelf. But we're going to talk about it. You don't get any accessories at all. And at retail for $30, and I think that uh, um, the deluxe set that's at uh, Walmart that comes with the DVDs, no mind the hands are actually a little bit mad, but they're clean. I washed them too much. Is like 70, 80 bucks. I don't know, man. For the DVD, come on. I mean, he looks pretty good. Not bad. You get some big ass ball joints for the elbow and the knees. It's weird looking joints. Look at the wrist. Look how wonky that looks. Let's go over articulation. I ain't gonna stall you guys out. Head, nothing. N nothing looking up. And it seems to be. Is there articulation on the neck? The neck actually articulates. If you can see that. Let me bring that in close. Check out the neck. So the neck articulates, but the head actually doesn't move. You can get them to look, you know, left and right. But as far as up and down, I mean, that's about as far as you're going to get. Now, these wonky ass butterfly joints. Look at this, man. Big gaping. It's all loose. Arms only go out and check. Look at this shit. Arms only go out about that far. This is terrible. This figure is terrible. And they rotate. I don't even know. I mean, I guess that's a butterfly joint. The butterflies in that far. Not really much back. Let's see if I can. I don't even know which. Ah, is that what the problem is? They were upside down. So out of packaging, if you could see. It's supposed this butterfly joint is supposed to be rotated up. that let's see at least that's what it feels like on the other side nah nope let's see this one went in ah oh, let's see how this goes let's let's get this fixed let's see This is a bogus. All right. Um, I don't know. This side seemed to have fell right in the pocket. Right. This side goes right here, but it's not as tight. And now the shoulder looks all weird and how to. Oh, there's a hinge up and down for this shoulder if you can see that and hinges up this one seems to be stuck now let's see I don't want to break the damn thing that side is working how it's supposed to but this side is not hmm Bandai, mm -hmm. Bandai Bandits. This is, let's see, man. The ball is at the bottom. And I'm spending a lot of time on this because I'm trying to give it a fair, honest review. So I'm trying to get things aligned the way it needs to be aligned. Let's pop the arm. Arm is tight. 
there's not even okay so it doesn't even pay again back there there's it doesn't pay again the arm seems to this is weird as hell yo their choice okay so this side does hinge up and down this side I'm not sure if it's just not positioned correctly and I don't want to break the damn thing I mean look at that shit check that out Retail thirty dollars? Fuck no. Fifteen bucks? Still fuck no. Don't waste your money on this shit. It's not worth it at all. This look at this shit, man. Elbow, single bin with the elbow. I'm moving on. Rotation, and it's just on a peg. A ball. So you can hinge it up and down, in and out, rotation, and it's super loose. No bicep swivel. Look at this shit. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, you get rotation at the elbow with the bend. As far as the torso, he leans back that far. Coming forward, he goes forward that far. You do get some tilt up there, rotation, and this is all loose as well. He can lean back all the way. And there it is, rotation at the hip, uh, I think, at the, and look how easy the leg just popped off of the ball. This is crazy. So with the soft, plastic down at the bottom he does lean forward pretty good coming back pretty good but look at all this brick look at this shit man and that just keeps coming off you get rotation single jointed knee bends about that far I can tell you get a little bit of rocker just a little bit though foot Hinges, nothing, nothing. There's no, there's nothing. Then you get, you get a little bit of rotation at the knee. This is terrible, yo. I'm not gonna hold you. This side doesn't even want to go up. And let's see, let's let's mess with it. See, this is what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to give you raw, uncut. And, and you know what's crazy is I seen a review on this and the guy act like this was not bad at all. Like no issues, no problems. And maybe it was for his copy. I mean, he had the same uh, articulation that was just trash. And this arm just does not want to hinge. Oh, it is. The, okay, so that may be what the problem is. That ball in there is. There is. Let's see. Is the ball. Look at this. It seems like the ball is either frozen. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's what it is. So the ball on this side is either glued. It, it literally looks glued. Like it was broken. Or the plastic is just. I might have to heat that up. That's how this fits in there. But it. Bit. R for right. Oh, man. This is. I'm going to leave the arm off. Let's come to this side. I'm going to pull this off. So you can see.
see the ball in there and it moves right this side it's just it looks like it's been glued and I'm just looking at it I don't want to break the damn thing Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so this will be added to the video on uh, this Hopper figure. So I did a little bit of a uh, surgery for it, and you could tell if you look at the ball. The plastic was actually, I don't know if it was, if the plastics had joined and stuck together, but that's the other end of that uh, ball. As you can see in here, it had fused together. So hopefully I can get this back in there. What I did is I boiled it and um, let's see. Boiled it and um, was able to. All right, let's get this in there first. Free it up. In doing so, man, listen, man, uh, doing so. Before I boiled it, actually, you get a little bit more range on the head. This peg, now all my plastic is soft. The peg that's going up into the head, right? There's a slight curve on this peg, which is kind of shaped like this. How my finger is. Let me show you guys. Shaped like this. I just rotated it. And put the head back on and he can look up a little bit better than he was before now the neck is all loose but check this out me boiling it the paint on the neck came off and the reason why is this is a terrible figure the neck is done in a blue plastic and it's painted the flesh tone. Why? <laughs> Look, man. I don't know. But it's a bullshit ass fucking choice. And now I'm going to struggle putting this. There we go. This is keyed and slotted for the neck. As you can see in there. So. This fits in. Like so. Nah. And all that to get this. Now I gotta pull it off camera to try to get this neck peg back in. But I'm giving you guys a full in depth view on this so you guys know what to expect. I say, for this guy, man, leave him on the shelf. 15 bucks, man, was a waste of my money. I'm pissed. I had to jump through hurdles just to get this arm freed up. And now it just pops out way too easy now. It definitely is not worth. Definitely, definitely not worth 30 bucks. Like, that's for damn sure. 15 bucks is not even worth it. And this is supposed to be a premium line. You know what I'm saying? Or this figure is supposed to be premium. It's in the collectible section at Target. This is this is a cheap, bullshit made ass figure, man. And that's just being honest. 
Like, I can't believe the neck is done in a blue... P like, why? It's separate. You used... Is the head the you know what the head is done in a blue plastic as well. Hands blue plastic, so they just molded everything in blue plastic and then painted, gave you a few paint apps. Terrible. Leave it on the shelf, guys. That's my rant. Back to the video. That thing is just frozen up there, y'all. Let's look. Man, this is terrible, yo. Get a little L. Should be an L somewhere on here, but it's not. Like there is on the right side. In the shape of it. So it looks like it goes. Hell, I can't even tell anymore. This thing is so terrible. Let's get this back on. Like, I don't want that to move at all because it just breaks it up and it's all loose. There we go. And, man. You gotta got you guys got a thumb up on this video, man. Because I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not, you know, sugarcoating it, but this is definitely not worth it. You see it, keep walking. Even if it is 15 bucks and you have an address bill, keep walking. Do not buy. He comes with a weapon, like, pinching hand. As you can see, the index and the thumb are molded together. On both hands. Man. Dry runs. Makes you do shit like this. But I figured this. I mean. I, I never would have bought this either. I mean. I was seeing it. But, and I never even thought about it. But. Man. I mean. Shh, boy. This is terrible. Let's get them back. Let's position them a little bit. Try to get his back drop. I don't know, man. If you have it and you like it, thumbs up. But for me, it's a no-go. If, if it didn't have the issues that it had, I would recommend picking it up, especially for 15 bucks. But it's too many issues, man. The butterfly joints are way too loose. This side is stuck. I have to warm that up to see if I can get that to move. He's just loose all over, man. Legs, like you saw it pumping right off. Forgot to go. Uh, he can Legs can go that far. You lift it, it pops off the ball. If you go too far. So, coming forward. Only about that far. Going back more than you do going forward i mean and all of this is just broken up shit man and and they're on a look there's like a wide joint if you can see in there where it comes down and up so there must be a ball here attached to this same and i thought you can maybe hinge this up but nope Not at all. Look at that. That's just moving the legs. This is terrible, yo. It's so bad. Like, I want to take it back just to get my $15 back, man. Really. After I not open it and play with it. But I wouldn't do that, though. I'm just stuck with it. I'll just put him on this little backdrop. I might just... Hell, the backdrop is... <laughs> Paid 15 bucks for the backdrop. So this is coming at the end of the video. I was so mad at this figure, man. I forgot to do uh, size comparisons. So we're going to jump straight into it. And I'll figure out where to 
you know, place this at. Let's take a look at another Bandai product. This is Super Saiyan Rose Black Goku. See how these guys stand? I got them in a decent enough pose for the thumbnail. One of the poses that I figured would look at least decent. So let's see how these guys stand next to each other. Or scale next to each other. There's that. By the way, dope ass figure, Bandai. Good job on that one. Terrible job on this one. As he falls. Man. And now he... Anyway. <laughs> That's how those guys scale. Let's get them out next to... Let's see. Gunslinger Spawn by McFarlane. Seven inch scale. He towers over this guy. Let's get him in frame. Let's move. Go, go. And let's see. Let's get him next to uh, Hazmat Suit Batman. Batman's a little bit taller than him. Let's get him next to, of course. Can't do my size comparisons without bringing out my boy, Major Blood by Hasbro. That's how those guys scale. Six inch figure. He must be seven inch or whatever. Or six and a half or something like that. Get my girl, Riri, in the building. He towers over both of those guys. And let's see. Let's get a Mattel product out from the Masterverse Revelations Triclops. And that's how those guys scale next to each other. So, I will fig figure out where to put this uh, part of the video in, but. There's how these guys scale. You know what I mean? But there he is. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you think about this one. If you have any, you're experiencing the same issues, let me know. If you have any, you don't have the same issues, let me know. I'm interested in knowing. But you should look at the Netflix Stranger Things Hopper by Bandai. You know my saying. It's your boy Sean. And I'm out. One.